you know, I should do more of these reviews over stuff other than guns. Let this be one of those very few times. This is the Acetech AC6000 chronograph from some of the guys that brought you some of those X Cortec chronographs, like this one right here. This product is the love child of some of the guys that broke off from X Cortec to make their own company called Acetech. And Acetech asked if I'd like to show off their AC6000 chronograph, and since I really needed my own chronograph, I took them up on their offer. So let's go over this newer device and see how it stacks up to multiple different guns and see if it's really worth its price tag of $75. I honestly actually like this chronograph already, so hopefully after this review I'll start seeing some of these pop up at some fields I visit. Now I will be adding links down below in the description by the way to both Airsoft Mike's video over this same chronograph because I like his stuff and he has fun with his reviews and to What Are You Buying's video because them's good people. I've been a subscriber and a supporter of those guys for years. Now Ace Tech sent me both the AC6000 and their AT1000 tracer unit, but for right now let's get into the unboxing of the chronograph, which begins with the graphic and glazed box. It's pretty simple, but it's a nice way to represent itself. Inside the device is wrapped in a bubble wrap pouch, while the user's manual sits somewhere in the box. The manual is actually pretty good for this product. I can read it and not feel like it was written by a toddler. The English is well written and it goes over each screen that you'll find on the chronograph and how to power the device itself, so good manual. Taking the chrono out of its wrap and taking a good look at it, I'll say that I like it. The AC6000 is made from plastic, as you would assume, with rubber grips underneath and a metal tripod mount near the battery compartment, as well as a metal collar around the channel or mouth of the chrono. You'll get your serial number under here, but to power this thing up, you'll have to slide back the swing door before hinging it upward. Now go ahead and place four AAA batteries in their slots, and the device should be set to turn on. Or you can use a micro USB cord to connect to the back of the chrono, so you can power it in its alternate fashion. Yeah, that's right, you can power this chronograph with an external battery pack, or you can even take your gaming console out to wherever you play and power it up that way. That sounds reasonable. Honestly though, I like this feature because batteries can go dead at any time, and at some special events, that could be detrimental. As long as you have an outlet, an external battery pack, or a USB slot, then you should always have a way to power this chronograph. That's something you can't find on some other chronographs out there. The on button for the AC6000 can be found on the front of the device, just like the other controls as well as a screen that will be protected with the film that you can just peel off whenever you wish to. Turning the chronograph on, you can see how I've set mine up for 0.2 gram BBs. After shooting a burst through the device, you can see my rate of fire and the amount of rounds it read. A huge reason as to why I like this product is how well the AC6000 reads higher rate of fire. It may not always show you the rounds a second that you're getting or rounds per minute you're getting, but each projectile's velocity is shown for the most part, which is much better than any of the other chronographs I've seen. Even if you change the weight of the projectile or the size of the projectile, the chronograph should stay consistent with how well it reads. This is in thanks to the LED lens design inside that focuses the rays emitted across the shot's path through the AC6000. As for the channel through the device, it's large enough to push a barrel cap through or even a half dollar, which is nice, but as for the rest of the features, you'll have to dig into the menus. Of course, you can turn up the brightness of the screen, which is very helpful, but what I would have liked to see would be a negative setting. So you can turn the background screen from black to white and the text to black to make things just a bit easier to read for some people out there. I do like though that you don't need to go digging into the menu to change the weight of whatever BBs you're shooting through the chronograph, as you can just switch them right from the main screen. Performance wise, this thing is doing great. I get the readings when I want them and I haven't gotten an error or a freeze up yet after owning the AC6000 for about a month now. And even if you want to, you can get very technical about your multiple readings with one gun with average readings, max readings, and minimum readings. Average AEGs read, high rates of fire guns read, not saying that this is really a high rate of fire, gas pistols read, and they can read in rounds per second or minute or feet from joules or even in meters. But to be truthful, that is pretty average. But I guess now with that, I should answer a few questions that I got on my Instagram page about the Acetech AC6000, starting with Rampage underscore TYC. He asks, what weight does it go up to and is it sturdy? Well, yeah, it is pretty sturdy as a plastic body chronograph normally is. It's also about two pounds. Nothing rattles or feels like it would be easy to break off with normal use, and the AC6000 can read up to about anything you'd like to shoot through it. And you can set whatever sizes you normally shoot in the menu so you can change it on the fly back and forth on the main screen like I said earlier. Even if you're shooting .10s through this chronograph, it will read them. 
How much does it cost? About $75. Does it come with Bluetooth speakers? No, but with some modifications. Is it a good first chrono? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd actually say that I'd recommend this to a lot of fields and arenas so they can speed up their daily chronograph tests before players go out to play. Is it accurate? Yeah, yeah actually it is. Everything that I've shot through it that I own chronos at what I've been told and what I've seen my guns chrono at. So... Overall, I love this chronograph, and I hope that I'll be able to show it off more in every review I can. It does its job, and I've yet to have a single problem with it, so for $75, I'd say it's well worth it. So I'll be adding links in the description so you'll know where to get one for yourself if you want one. And with that, I think that my job here is done, but I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below about the Ace Tech AC6000. Do you like it, or do you think you have something better? Square up in the comments and let me know. I'd like to thank Ace Tech for letting me do work with them, but I'd like to thank these past commenters and the notification squad, as well as the first 300 people who like my videos regularly. The support is awesome and well appreciated as it helps me to do better and better. We're about to break 80,000 subscribers, meaning the big 100,000 subscriber mark is on the way and just around the corner, so I've got a giveaway planned for you guys. But until that next video drops from the city of San Antonio, this has been Scott Hollenbeck, and I will be sure to see you all next time.